So today I'm going to show you girls how I'm going to achieve a slimmer jawline and to prepare for a girls night out in just 15 minutes. So it has been a very long day today. I left house with my makeup on at 12 o'clock, 12 p.m. So now it's already 10 p.m. and it's like 10 hours since I've last put my makeup on. So this is how I look like smudged makeup oily skin and i didn't do any touch up um so that i can keep it real for you guys so i'm going to show you girls how i'm going to do everything in just 15 minutes but first up we need to blot all this disgusting oil away from my face so i always use a tissue paper hello everyone who joined hi thanks for joining and the reason why I use a tissue paper is because it doesn't overly remove your oil from the skin. So the oil doesn't overcompensate. So the thing is, the reason why we all have oily skin is because, you know, your face is not that moisturized or it doesn't have enough hydration. So the skin produces more oil so that it helps to hydrate the skin. But on the contrary, while it's trying to help the skin to hydrate, it also creates what we know as acne, especially for girls like us, we have acne skin. I would recommend you to use tissue paper instead of blotting oil, uh, blotting oil paper to blot your skin so that you do not actually remove too much of the oil away, just the excess oil. So as you can see, my face is looking much more matte right now. Thanks everyone who joined. Hi. So first thing first, we're going to work on the skin. So at the end of the day, you would have realized like, I'm just zoom in. Please don't get frightened by the current condition of my skin. You can actually see that the pores are accentuated. And I have a lot of makeup that has already ran out and kind of sunk into my pores so I'm gonna teach you girls a quick trick quick trick this is the pixie skin treat it is the rose flash balm it's a instant skin booster so you can actually use this as a mask but what I'm gonna use this how I'm gonna use this is as a moisturizer and a primer and because it comes in such a small tube you can actually keep it in your makeup bag so Yep, let me show you girls the difference. This is the texture of the product. And when you just, I'm going to just apply it here because you can really see the pores over here. You can just go over your makeup, but try to go in a tapping motion so you do not smudge your makeup any further. This also acts as a primer and you can see that this side of the skin, the pores are more refined. Maybe if I go further away from the light, you can actually see the difference. Can you? Can you girls see the difference? <laughs> Hi Faith! So you can see, this is the one without the product. And this is the side with the product. You can definitely see that this side is smoother and more glowy, whereas this side looks more dull. So I'm going to even out both sides quickly. So because the texture of this product, it's more on a thicker consistency, it will really fill in all your pores and give a good base for your touch up while hydrating your skin. So I'm gonna put some over here, some over here. Remember to do this only after you have blotted your skin away from all the excess oils. Okay, so next up we're gonna focus on retouching the skin before I move on to the contour because for all makeup you will need a good base. Does any of you use, do any of you actually use this type of scrunchies? I find them really convenient and I can keep them in my makeup bag and they don't create those kind of creases 
in the hair that you get when you tie up your hair. So I'm not going to tie up my hair, I'm going to use this. And next up, okay, my, it has hanged, has it hanged? Anyway, I'm going to just continue. So... Oh no, my, my handphone hanged. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to continue and oh yeah, okay, great. That's great. It's back to normal now. I went out to check with my husband if he has hang on inside and he said that everything is good. So I'm going to continue. So after you have done your face, you have primed up your face. Now it's time to go for some touch up and coverage. So who's going to bring a whole bottle of foundation out, right? So this is a little neat trick that I'm going to share. I have the part shape tip concealer over here and as you can see they are in two different shades that's because I use one as a highlighting shade and the other one in my skin shade and they are quite nifty really small bottles they can keep in your bag and they're going to help to conceal and touch up your skin in just seconds so some of the ways that I actually help in the contouring is to apply one line straight down over here. I know I look like some tribal warrior but you are going to see the difference after it's done. So this is just part one of the contouring. I'm going to apply some over here as well and then I'm going to use the one that's in my, in my shade to cover up whatever blemishes that I have over here just a little bit and I'm going to use a little scrunchie to just dab you can immediately see that my contouring is almost half done because I have my highlights on like almost instantly so you can actually skip the highlighter if you use this method because you already you have already primed your skin with hydrating primer and then you have this highlighting concealer over the places over the areas that you wish to highlight Can you see the difference? And then I'm going to blend away this part. Just gonna adjust my handphone a little bit. Okay. So the trick to this method is to just blend, 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 and blend away. So do I look instantly more refreshed now? <laughs> hi Angie, hi Jaceline. So with just one single step, you would have already concealed all your blemishes and you would already have your strobing with concealer all done. Do I look more radiant now? Yep. So the next step, which is the most crucial step, is to get your contour powder. And this is where the magic happens. Get your contour powder and you have to contour this area of your face 
as well as the jawline. So I'm going to show you girls the difference, probably just on this side of the face first. It may look a little heavy to begin with, but the trick is to just blend everything down. Yeah, totally refreshing indeed. It's a really quick trick and because the concealer bottles are really small, you can actually put them in your makeup bag, in your go-to bag and can just do them if you're just going out with your girls after office or after event or after dinner, it's a very quick and nifty touch-up trick. I like to also apply more powder at this area moving up so it kind of very quickly and easily shapes up your jawline and it gives you the illusion of a smaller and sharper chin. So I'm going to show you girls the difference. Can you see? This side is actually slimmer than this side. So if you want to further slim down your face, you can actually apply more contour powder at this side. But the key is to really blend them out well. So that you won't look like you have makeup on your face. Can you see the difference? So this is with contour you can really see the jawline and this is without the jawline is not really that prominent so I'm gonna finish up this side of the face of course there are other ways that you can actually achieve a slimmer jawline as many of you would have already known I am part of the MAHS squad which comprises of 11 10 actually 10 other beautiful lovely girls I'm the 11th girl and all of us have taken that leap of faith to try out non-invasive aesthetic treatments and all of us swear by this treatment which is called the out therapy basically it is micro micro focus ultrasound whereby it helps to quickly lift up your face so with that treatment the doctor is able to visualize exactly which areas he is working on. I did mine with Radiant Medical and my doctor is Dr. Sue. So he's able to see and target the exact area that he wants to work on and give it a very precise amount of ultrasound pulses so that we can give a very precise lift. For example, if I want to have more lift on this side of the face, I want to have more lift on this side of the jawline, he can actually visualize and see the area real time and send very accurate pulses of ultrasound into the face, into the skin, so that it gives that very instant lift in just seconds. So you can walk in during lunchtime and walk out with your treatment then. So I have had that treatment and it's really, it's a game changer. After that treatment, I have had friends who told me, wow, you look like you have lost weight, but that's not true. I actually had my skin lifted that made me look like I have lost weight. So this is one of the tricks to actually have a firmer, to tighten the skin along the jawline area so that it firms up and you're able to see your jawline. Other ways, um, some of the things that I did, I had injectables in my chin area because I have a really square chin and not that it's something that um, I feel uncomfortable with, but it's something which I wish to enhance. So I had injectables in this area so that it becomes sharper. And I also had some injectables in this area of my jawline so that, you know, it doesn't look like my neck and my jaw is just one piece. It, it has more protruding area over here so that the jawline looks the jawline looks more, yeah, I just look like I have a better jawline. Oh, what brush? I'm using this brush, which is from Etude House. It's only, I think, less than $10, and it's really good. Yep. Okay, so I'm done with my contouring, and one of my favorite features is my eyes. So we are going to do... We are going to touch up the eye area and we're going to do a very simple touch up just using one shade of the eyeshadow because I mean who brings one whole eyeshadow palette out when in their makeup bag right so I'm going to just use 
just this one shade. This is from Laneige. This is from their Rose collection. It's number 11, Autumn Mute. And I'm just going to deepen this area of my eye and give it a bit more definition. So this is the shade I'm going to use. It's a very neutral brown shade. I'm just going to go in here very quickly. Can you see the difference? So for myself, I find that when you have more definition in the eyes and you work on enhancing your favorite feature, it will draw the attention away from the areas that you might not like so much about yourself. So overall, the face will look more balanced. And you feel more beautiful and more confident. Yep. So you can see how just one shade, one color can give you a very big difference. This is with the eyeshadow and this is without. Instantly, you will look more awake. So I'm going to finish off this part of the eye. Just concentrate on the outer corner of your eye and you will not go wrong. So, just a little bit more to even things out. Do I look good? <laughs> and then I'm going to go back to my contour palette because I realized that I didn't contour the most important part, which is my nose. I always find that, I mean, many of you would have already known, I always find that I have a really big nose. But a big nose means that you would have something to work with and you can actually contour it, give it more definition so that you look like you have a sharper nose. So I'm going to blend that out with a just a normal blending brush. And there is already no need to apply any highlighting powder because you have already highlighted this area with the concealer in the first place and then we're going to end off with the lipstick so i am going to use this one this is my current favorite lipstick it is from three sorry about the dirt over there so on a girl's night out, I like to, I prefer to use a darker shade. I don't know, it just makes me feel more beautiful, more sexy, and more confident. I'm going to create this. So question time, if any of you have any tips or tricks on how to achieve a slimmer jawline, please share with me in the comments and I will read it out to um, my readers over here. So there are other ways that you can achieve, there are other ways they can do to achieve a slimmer jawline. The number one thing is your clothes. You can wear, instead of wearing rounded clothes, let me just show you girls the difference. So I was wearing this dress today and it's a round collar dress. So a if you want to have a slimmer and longer jaw and a sharper chin, the trick is to actually avoid round collared dresses and to use and to go for dresses that have a deeper V line, a deeper neckline. I'm actually a bit shaky right now because I can't see what's going on on my screen. My screen has hanged again, not sure why and not sure why this is happening but I'm just gonna go ahead and hope that all of you can actually continue seeing the video. So you can see the difference. I'm gonna show you the before and after. This is the before and this is after. Do you see the difference? 
before and after. Another way to elongate your face and to make your face look slimmer is to go for long dangling earrings. I hope that you guys can see, you girls can see the earrings. Do you see the difference? The instant difference? Yep, just these two fashion tricks to help you achieve a longer and sharper chin and a slimmer jawline. One last method that I would like to share is about the food and the drinks that you We are who we eat and recently I discovered this tea. This is Tilly tea and they are really unique. They are made from traditional herbs and they do not contain caffeine. So this tea is supposed to give you a deep cleanse. It contains burdock root, red dates, rose, peach flower, apple flower, and it tastes absolutely divine. It's like, it's like really, really, you know, the kind of tea that you get when you enter a restaurant. It is really, really nice. I would highly recommend this tea. So this tea helps to deep cleanse your system and we all know when you deep cleanse, you actually, number one, lose toxins and lose some of your water retention and the weight that can build up around your jawline and your face. So this will help you to give a detox and to slim down your face. Of course, it's not going to be an instant solution. If you're looking for a more instant solution, I would recommend you to try aesthetic treatment. Um, like injectables and our therapy that I mentioned earlier. If you have more questions, you can let me know in my PM. And um, yeah, so it has been a long day and um, getting, and I'm almost done getting ready to go out. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. So I'm just looking through the comments right now to see if there's any questions. The brush that I was, the contour brush that I was using just now is from Etude House. This is their contour brush. And um, yeah. Oh yeah, if you have any other fashion tips, please share with me because I only have I only know of two quick fashion tips to help achieve a slimmer jawline. So yeah, I guess this is all about it. Recently I've had a, I've had an interview about my favorite feature which is my eyes and it's now up online at mycerventability.com meet the squad TNC Yun, which is basically my name. So I'm gonna have this link up in my bio on my Instagram profile so you can go over, click on the link and take a look at my interview. And as I already mentioned just now, I'm part of this MASJ squad together with 10 other really lovely, very confident, very beautiful ladies. And all of us have tried some non-invasive aesthetic treatment as um, just a leap of faith and to enhance our favorite feature. So if you can do, do, do check out our favorite features on the same website, www.mysurrenderpdjourney.com and follow them on Instagram and Facebook. I'm gonna put the link in my bio link as well. Yep, and that's all about it. Thank you for joining. And I'm going to go off to meet my girls now. See you, bye. Oh, thanks so much, little pink Sakura.